This is Jeff with Living in Arizona, and today we are going to field a question here from Mark Johnson. He says, I love your videos. Are you going to do an Arizona versus New Mexico video? So you guys know I've done Texas versus Arizona, uh, Texas versus California, or Arizona versus California, Arizona versus Florida. I haven't done one about um, New Mexico. I think there's a couple others I haven't done, but um, yeah, let's go ahead and dial this in here. Also, shout out to Ted Warg. He said he's a new subscriber here. Love this channel. I live in South Tucson back in 2015. Thinking about heading back out there. Keep up the great work. And thank you, Ted. And many of you guys who've been commenting, I read them and uh, I try to do my best to keep up with all of them. If I don't get back to you uh, the first time, try again the second time. I'll try my best to get a hold of you. <laughs> and if I don't respond, yell at me. All right. So anyways, guys, let's go ahead and do this. We make videos where we talk about this. Also, follow us on Instagram. Check us out. We're growing, getting 88 followers now. This is new. And I have a Facebook group also where people, what's growing. So we'll post there. But anyway, let's get back on subject and talk about the subject at hand. If you guys are thinking about moving to Arizona, just click this link in the comments below and for the group also. All right. So we're going to go through a couple different uh, chat groups, forums, and we're going to go here to start out in the cost comparison calculator on bestplaces.net. This is between Phoenix and New Mexico. You can see that Phoenix is more expensive than Albuquerque. Okay, I, I said Phoenix and New Mexico, but I meant to say Phoenix and Albuquerque. So 15% more expensive across the board. If we're talking about median home cost in Phoenix, Phoenix is 229,000, Albuquerque 190,000. So it's just more affordable to be living in Albuquerque. Utilities, more expensive in Phoenix. Transportation, more expensive in Phoenix. Health, pretty much everything across the board, guys, even food and groceries, is more expensive in uh, Phoenix. And I'm saying that because, you know, there's no sense in sugarcoating it. You know, if it, it is what it is, if it's just you chose to live in a more comparable city like uh, Tucson to Albuquerque, because Tucson and Albuquerque are almost the same size. So, Phoenix is a metropolis. Albuquerque is nowhere near a metropolis. Tucson is a mini metropolis, and I think it's even bigger than Albuquerque. But it, if you compare it Albuquerque and New Mexico side by side, Tucson's actually more affordable than uh, Albuquerque. So you can see it just depends on how you're doing the comparisons, where you're looking to live, and what's most important to you. Uh, one of the things I saw on a forum was the guy said he took the job in Albuquerque because it paid more. So if uh, job relocations a difference here he's saying take the job that pays more forget all the other stuff um, and so because the job in New Mexico paid him more than the one in Phoenix he chose the one in Albuquerque right so let's go ahead and talk about some other things that you're gonna want to know about Arizona and New Mexico so just a, straight up um, the spoken language is really kind of comparable I think that um, both states are going to have be heavily influenced by the southern neighbor in Mexico. Uh, one of the th things that I really like about New Mexico is Santa Fe. And they actually build homes in Arizona called Santa Fe homes. And those come from the New Mexico, Santa Fe, New Mexico style houses. If you ever get a chance, just go on Google and look up, um, or Pinterest, Santa Fe style homes. So that's actually influenced out here in Phoenix from Santa Fe, New Mexico, a really small town in New Mexico, largest city, Albuquerque. Um, Greater Albuquerque is the largest. And then you have um, the population. New Mexico is a really small state, only 2 million people. So if you're one of those people who's like, man, I like Phoenix, but it's just a little bit too crowded for me, New Mexico could be an option for you, or Albuquerque or Santa Fe could be options for you. I do think that Albuquerque is higher altitude, therefore it is a little bit cooler. So you do get more extreme winters in Albuquerque than you would get here in Phoenix, but nothing that dramatic. But yeah, that's something to keep in mind. So the population there is only 2 million. Arizona's got a population of 7.1. So larger uh, population demographics. Both states are about the same in size. Uh, Phoenix, Arizona is ranked sixth, and New Mexico is ranked uh, fifth. So they're very comparable in size. You're not, you know, so the diversity is there. Now, New Mexico does have more high desert, which is more like that Tucson kind of setting 
whereas Phoenix is more in a valley, and two, or Albuquerque is a bit more higher elevation, so that's something to consider. Now let's go ahead and dial in some of the other things to do in uh, New Mexico, since we always talk about Arizona. I'll touch on Arizona, but I'll do New Mexico first for those of you who watch this channel but just want to know about uh, New Mexico but already know so much about Arizona because you keep up with this channel called Living in Arizona. Carlsbad Caverns. Check that place out. Even for you people from Arizona, if you want a weekend getaway, go over to the Chihuahua Nash Desert um, in southern New Mexico and check out Carlsbad Caverns. I've been there. It's a pretty cool cavern. Really, it is. Uh, White Sands Missile Site. I mean, that's good military history. Uh, you know, everyone knows about White Sands from, you know, the, the World War II stuff, right? And I think that's even... Between that and Las Cruces is where those uh, aliens happen, right? Aliens came from there. And then they have, Ch if you're into Native American history, check out Chaco Canyon. And then you have uh, Bandelier, another Native American uh, civilization in uh, New Mexico. Then you have Four Corners, which you get here. And then you have the Continental Divide, which is a uh, trail that people like to take. You have Sandia Peak Tram. Okay, that's right next to Albuquerque, so things to do in Albuquerque. Now, I will say this, okay? I thought about going to Albuquerque because it's been a while. I went there when I was a kid. That was about it. I thought about going over there, and I was looking at things to do, and I realized there's not a lot of things to do in Albuquerque. That's the same reason I wouldn't move to uh, Tucson. There's not enough things to do in Tucson to keep me entertained. Therefore, I wouldn't do it. Now, what is it about Phoenix that makes or what about Arizona makes it a step ahead of New Mexico for me? Well, I almost want to say that you can get some really beautiful desert scenery in New Mexico, maybe even just a little bit more scenic as far as deserts go in New Mexico than it is in Arizona. And that is a matter of opinion, but some of the desert settings you will get around Santa Fe and Albuquerque and the surrounding areas are stunning. Okay. But you can get that also in North Phoenix and in Oro Valley and Desert Mountain and Cave Creek. You know, you can get that. Now, the thing that I really liked about Arizona and Phoenix in particular that New Mexico doesn't have is pro sports. Arizona Cardinals, Phoenix Suns, the Phoenix Coyotes or Arizona Coyotes, the Arizona Diamondbacks. Pro sports. Also, um, because we are a big city, we have more of those big city environments, you know, nightlife, Scottsdale, like where, I don't know if anything can even come close to Scottsdale in New Mexico, and that's just a nice place. Arcadia, Biltmore, all those different things make it really special. Um, so for me, I end up leaning. I, I could I could live in New Mexico, but because I prefer the convenience of being in a big metro, metropolitan area, that's why I ended up doing it. Now, the downside to Arizona, or Phoenix in particular, is too much cars on the road. I'm not a big fan of a lot of cars on the road. I don't mind a lot of people, but it's the it's the congestion on the road. It's the traffic. It's really sprawling. And so if that's something that's a concern to you and you're not so big on sports and some of these other things to do because you're pretty good at entertaining yourself, then maybe you consider something like Albuquerque or Santa Fe and all across New Mexico. Um, there are portions of New Mexico that are just basically barren wasteland straight up. I mean, if I go to the map here, I, let me just show you guys what it looks like on this map here. So, we'll go ahead and take a look at the satellite. And I'll show you guys around a little bit for those of you who decide to stick around for this. So, because we always do Arizona, let's do... You can see Arizona is a little bit more green through at least the, the heart of it. But northern New Mexico is green, right? That's right on the right next to Santa Fe. So, once you start to head out of Santa Fe, you'll be right there in these Thompson Peak, Elk Mountain... Kind of like Colorado style mountains, right? And I think the Rockies even extend down into New Mexico. Don't, uh, I'm not so for certain, but I believe that's an extension of the, color of the Rocky Mountains. So you have Carson National Forest, Los Alamos, right next to Santa Fe. You could see, um, just I would. I, it's hard to say which one's more green. For some reason, I think that Arizona is a little bit more green. We do get those ponderosas. Then you have the Gila National Forest. Right there, I've been through that area because you go through there on the I-10. Truth of consequences. You can see this is a big old river right here, the Rio Grande. So the Rio Grande starts in uh, New Mexico. Actually, up there by uh, Albuquerque, they got the Rio Grande, don't they? See? 
It's a little bit more muddy up there before it gets down into the valleys where it's not as muddy. But, uh, you know, the, the Rio Grande runs along the southern part of New Mexico. Now, I wish I could have you guys on here uh, asking questions to go around, but I'm just going to kind of uh, show you guys around these these areas. This is La Cruces right here. This is the White Sands area. I mean, it's there, this is a barren wasteland. This is hot desert. Nothing grows out here, okay? I mean, and there's several areas just like Las Cruces all around New Mexico uh, that are just uninhabitable desert. Arizona has it, but it's it's mostly in the southwest, probably around the area of um, yeah this whole area right here, Oregon Pipe National Park, all the way down to Yuma. But if you just compare the two, I told you the reason I I prefer being next to a big metropolis like Phoenix for jobs. I like the convenience. I like the things to do, and I like the international airport. It's just a bigger airport. You know, easier to get in and out, better experience in my opinion. I did think about going to Albuquerque just to check it out though. So if you are coming to Arizona, check out Albuquerque, check out Santa Fe. Don't be scared to go over there and uh, explore it because it, it is a nice place. And then you can decide if you want to live there. Uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll go ahead and post some other videos, comparison videos up here. You can check those out. And thanks to everyone who's been liking the videos, commenting questions, asking questions, because this is a question that came in. We'll see you next time.